have no idea what's going on. Welcome back to the channel. Theros, how many people mentioned they started in Theros block? So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna open a box of this shit. And I'm gonna give away these two packs on the side of me to a random subscriber. Not even random, it's someone who's been commenting, liking, and sharing. I'm always seeing them, they're always popping up in the feed. And uh, thank you. To show my thanks, I'm gonna go ahead and just crack open a couple packs and give them to you. From Gatecrash and from Zendikar. So kudos to you. I'll put these aside, I'll do it at random, I'll announce who that person is. And uh, we'll get to doing this. Remember, guys, share the content because that really is the key. Sharing and commenting and liking are the key to getting put up on the giveaway board for subscribers. Remember, we need 250 new subs. I think from yesterday we already got like 40. So, I mean, after a good start, just keep up sharing the content, whatever. All right, guys, without further ado, boosh, Temple of Poop. Because it ain't worth it poop. But we got a Perforos Emissary. Perforamos. Pure, 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 pure. Let me get that focus on. Purifos Emissary. There we go. Actually, I'll keep it right here throughout the whole video. That way I'm not stressed. You know what I'm saying? So we are off to a pretty solid start here. Because we got our first foil. Everybody loves a foil. I know I love a foil. And let's just keep the ball rolling. Keep the ball rolling. Yes, I put my rares with my foils. Call me crazy. I know. But that's just how it goes. Happy Father's Day, everybody. So this is kind of like the Father's Day giveaway. Given out to one lucky Vinar. And for those of you who without a father, um, let's say he just walked out. Fuck him. All right? Fuck him. Fuck him right up his ass. Fuck him. He's worthless. Fuck him. All right? But for those of you without a dad for other reasons, I'm very sorry to hear that. For those of you with a dad, make sure you show your dad some love. Breaching hippo camp. Unless your dad's a raging alcoholic, abusive asshole, then just, I don't know, beat his ass or something. I don't know. All right, moving forward. Let's read this. Pixis of Pandemonium. For one, to bring out, each player ex exiles the top card of his or her library face down. First seven, tap it. Sacrifice Pixis of Pandemonium. Each player turns face up all cards he or she exiles. Exiled with... Pi Why can't I say that? Pixis of Pandemonium. Then puts all permanent cards among them out of the battlefield. A lot of shit going on there. Back-to-back -back foils in the first couple. That's... I don't know if that's a sign or not. I don't think it's much of anything, to be completely fair. Alright. Moving on, moving on, baby. Moving on. Are there any uncommons in this set worth anything? I don't think so. I'm not seeing anything on the board that's uncommon worth a few bucks. So that's hip hell. Alright. Whoops. Upside down. Inside out. I'm going to show you what it was all about. Here we go. Come on. Let's keep it going. Tormented Hero. This is actually a pretty fun set. I don't care what nobody says, man. Steam Algore. I don't think it's worth shit, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, what does it do? Well, let me tell you what it does. Reveal the top five cards of your library and separate them into two piles. An opponent chooses one of those piles. Put that pile into your graveyard and the other into your graveyard. Into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Like, really? Why Why would they just repeat themselves? Watsy, you guys are crazy. On to the next pack! Come on, baby. Give me something worth looking at. Give me something gorgeous. Give me something... Give me something beautiful. I hate Sphinx. Was that some kind of joke from the gods? Was that a... That was a joke from the gods, wasn't it? That was their joke. Prognostic Sphinx. I'd have to say you are probably worth jack shit. No biggie. We're gonna keep on trucking. Flying. Discard a card. Prognostic Sphinx. Gains hexproof until end of turn. Tap it. Whenever Prognostic Sphinx attacks, scry three. That's That ability's not too bad. Huh. You'd think that'd be worth a little something more. That's not a terrible... That's really not a terrible card. Discard a card, Prognostic Sphinx gains hexproof. I don't know. That's really not a terrible card. I, after reading it all, I don't think it's too bad. Weird, it's not worth more. I don't know. 
I don't know, guys. I don't know. What do you think of that? Why is prog Prognostic Sphinx basically a bulk freaking rare? Not even. He's like less than 25 cents. Why is that? Anybody got an idea? Let me know. Dying to hear about it. Ordeal of Thassa. We got an Ordeal of Thassa, man. And a Spear of Heli uh, Heliod. Heliod. That's actually not uh, such a bad card. Probably a few bucks. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Hell yeah. I should probably zoom it up a little bit. There we go. You guys like it when I get a little a little close and whisper in your ear. It's some, some awesome nothing. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one for three. Tap it. Destroy target creature that dealt damage to you this turn. Spear of Heliod. There you go. Where was that rank? Uh, maybe it's not worth anything. Maybe it's only 50 cents. Something like that. I don't know. All right, Centaur Battlemaster, Senator Battlemaster, heroic, good for him. Bow of Nilia. I actually dig this card. It's pretty cool. Attacking creatures you control have a death touch. Pretty nasty. For two, tap it, choose one, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature, or Bow of Nilia deals two damage to target creature with flying, or you gain three life, or put up to four target cards from your graveyard on the bottom of your library in any order. Really not a bad card. I'd like a foil version of that. That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's see what else we're gonna get. Who's pumped for the new uh, new sets coming out? Hour of devastation, and it was leaked. That's nuts. The whole set was leaked. I'm not sure the legitimacy to all that. I mean, they could be just busting our balls. I don't know, but I mean, all it takes is someone at Wizards just to be like, you know what? Nah. During the print run, they're just gonna sneak out a little sheet and you know whatever. But that's like a big lawsuit, I'm pretty sure. That dude's gonna be fucked for doing that. If it is true. Mist Cutter Hydra. Mist Cutter Hydra can't be countered. Haste protection from blue. Mist Cutter Hydra enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Who loves their Hydras out there? Who's got a Hydra deck right now? Who wants to make a Hydra deck is the other question. Savage Surge for our token. They're not token. We have no token. Uh, Savage Surge was our foil. So there you have it. God's willing. God's willing. How about that? Ordeal of Perforas. Nothing. No uncommons are worth squatting this set. That's a poo poo. Curse of the Swine. I'm going to get swine flu just from opening this box. It's been so naughty to me. Oh yeah, this box cost me... What did this box cost me? This box cost me... S shit, what was it? $70? $71? $71 maybe. I just bought an entire booster box of Eternal Masters. Ask me how much. Go ahead. Ask me. Ask me how much I paid for it. Nope, nope, wrong, nope, nope, yep. This is not a live stream. <laughs> but you think it was. I paid $162. 162 bucks, free shipping for it. That's all I paid. Labyrinth, Labyrinth Champion. Heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Labyrinth Champion, Labyrinth Champion deals two damage to target creature or player. All right. Something decent. Something decent. So far, the best we've had was Bow of Nilia. Other than that, we've pulled some bunk. You guys ever had like a really bad booster box? Like just terrible, terrible booster box? Like just with nothing but bulk stuff? Boom! All fucking over! That's the case hit! Oh! Master of Waves! Woo! Mythic foil. That is nasty. Looking good, Master. Looking good. It may not be the highest valuable card out there, but, uh,. For having a foil of it, that might be like seven, six bucks. I don't know. But that is a mint ass foil. Uh, no, it's not mint. You know why? See the off centered? It is off centered. Nonetheless, that is a case hit. One of these bad boys per case. Mythic. All up in your face. I just came everywhere, guys. I gotta clean up all the splooge off the car. Jeez, it's all over the place. Nice hit right there. Nice hit right there. We will put you aside, Master of Waves. Woo! Oh, that was fun to open. Let's do it again. Oh, if I pull two mythics like that. I was just talking about how I wanted to pull a, a, a solid mythic uh, foil not long ago. And boosh, there it is. 
How you like them apples? Very rare to pull a mythic foil, so. So you know. Sylvan Cara, I don't even know what this does. Defender, Hexproof, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. It's a plant. Eh, not terrible. I mean, there's better shit out there, I'm sure, to add some mana, but any color, that ain't too bad. I can definitely, definitely dig it, man. When Reverend Hunter enters the battlefield, put a 1-1. One, one. Let me get that focus back going. When Reverend Hunter enters the battlefield, put a put a number of plus one plus one counters on it equal to your devotion to green. To your devotion to green. There you go. I've ran a few decks that have that all that devotion shit going on with it. I mean, definitely like uh, Theros, obviously. Any god set, one of the gods, any god cards are going to be about devotion, mostly, I think, I believe. Yes, pretty sure. So... They could be fun. I just don't like stipulations with shit. Anthosia, Satassin, Hero. Legendary creature, human warrior. I don't believe I had this card, which I always get pretty orgasmic over cards I don't have any of. So let's go ahead and read what this bad boy does. Uh, legendary creature, a warrior. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Anthosa, An Ant Ho, USA. Ant Ho USA. Oh, I get it. I get it. That is a dig on the United States of America right there. Wow. Set a Sin Hero up to three target lands you control each. Become 2 2 warrior creatures until end of turn. They are still lands. Watsy, you trickster. Ant Ho USA. You guys are dirty. You guys are dirty. I like it, though. I like it. All right, let's keep it going, baby. What's up to all my Canadian followers? There's a lot of you out there recently. I've been booming. Hello, Canada. Appreciate you guys. Also, let me know where you guys are from in the world. If you're not from USA, because I got a lot of you from USA, obviously, because I am a United States citizen. But I definitely like to give my shout-outs to other areas. And I noticed Canada, it's like 8 or 9% of my subscribers. So, kudos to you, Canada. You guys like Justin Bieber? What are your thoughts on him? Do you want him back? We'd be glad to give him back to you. Actually, his music's kind of been a little better lately. I don't really like saying that, but compared to when he first started out... Alright, enough said. Reaper of the Wilds. Creature Gorgon. Whenever another creature dies, scry one. Reaper of the Wilds gains death touch until end of turn for a black swampy. And for two, Reaper of the Wilds gains hexproof until end of turn. Four to bring out. Probably not the most amazing card in the world, but we'll take it. What are we looking for? Uh, Thoughtseize, uh, a Perforous God of the Forge, Elspeth, uh, Nykthus Shrine to Nyx, which I seem to have a lot of. Um, I think I have like six of those now. I just keep finding them every time I turn around, whether it's a collection or whatever. I just end up finding them. And has anyone bought a collection after watching my videos? Um, just for like shits and giggles? And you gotta be really careful how you do it. I mean, definitely get rid of the word bulk in the listing. Uh, Rageblood Shaman. Trample. Other Minotaur creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have Trample. That would probably be one of your godly uh, little uh, Minotaurs right there. I'm surprised that's not even legendary. Well, I guess I'm not surprised. Uh, well, Trample. Other Minotaur creatures you control get plus one. That's pretty big, though. Plus one, plus one, and have Trample. Not bad. Let's see what else we get. I might make a Minotaur deck. With that card, it's pretty slick. Maybe I'll purchase a couple of those. Good old secondary market. Anger of the Gods! All up in their fucking ass! I love Anger of the Gods. One of my more favorite cards. Yes, he's not worth a million dollars, but Anger of the Gods is definitely a legit card. That would be sweet and foil and all that just uh, lava just boiling down. Anger of the Gods deals three damage to each creature. If a creature dealt damage this way, would die this turn, exile it instead. Very awesome removal. It's only for three. Nice board wiping ability there to get rid of all the small shit. Oh, you like elves? Well, fuck them all to death. And if they come back, they can't come back. They're exiled. All right. Horizon Chimera. Yeah, he has a message. Shipbreaker Bulk. Oh, Shipbreaker Bulk. Let's read what Shipbreaker Bulk does. You guys digging the organization skills? Stepping shit up. That harpy token's pretty slick, though. Let's go ahead and read it together. Shipbreaker Kraken for six. Eight monstrosity four. When Shipbreaker Kraken becomes monstrous, tap up to four target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's untap step. 
steps for as long as you control Shipbreaker Kraken. Wow. That's a lot. But by the time you play that, I mean, that... Pfft. I mean, that you're talking a total of 10... No, I'm sorry. 12... 12... Whoa. 14 mana before that ability takes effect. So if you're still alive by the time that occurs, kudos to you. Does anyone run that in their deck? Does anyone have a Kraken deck I'd like to know about? Nothing against you if you do. I think uh, building any kind of deck really is pretty awesome. Especially, you never know, you might find something that other people haven't found. There's a billion different combinations of magic cards out there. Literally, probably a trillion different combinations of magic cards, considering there's, what, like, 24,000 original magic cards or something like that? Someone tell me the number. I know it's real freaking high. Helian, God of the Sun, our first god, baby. Let's read what this god does. Heliod, God of the Sun. I'm not sure how good he is. Uh, we'll find out when we read him. We'll know a little bit more about him. Indestructible. As long as your devotion is uh, to white is less than five, Heliod isn't a creature. Other creatures you control have vigilance. For four, put a 2-1 white cleric enchantment creature token onto the battlefield. So he's actually pretty solid. I bet he's worth a few bucks. That centering, though. I'm not a fan of that centering. No, I'm not. We'll put that in the, we'll put that in the more desirable pile. All right. So we did have that one huge pool so far. That is freaking amazing. I'll do the subscriber dingling here in a second. Open up a couple more packs and we'll get down to it. Again, happy Father's Day to those fathers out there. I am a father myself. I must say I am. Uh, Abhorrent Overlord flying. When Abhorrent Overlord enters the battlefield, put a number of 1-1 Black Harpy creature tokens with flying on the battlefield equal to your devotion to Black. 6-6. Six, six. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Not sure of the value there. Then again, I don't really care all that much uh, if it's worth a lot, except for if my patrons won it. Then I would give a little bit of a darn. How about a hero's downfall? Can we get one of those? That'd be kind of cool. I'd like to see one of those. Or a Thassa. Thassa? Am I saying that right? Thassa? God? Chained to the rocks. I have never seen that card before. Oh, I'm glad I'm opening through. This is fun. This is kind of around the time I got back into magic, so... Enchant Mountain you control. Enchant Chain to the Rocks enters the battlefield. When it does. Exile target creature and opponent controls until Chain to the Rocks leaves the battlefield. Okay. Okay. Boosh! Baleful Eidolon. Spirit. Got the Death Touch on it. Damn. Enchanted creature gets postponed opponent with Death Touch. That's kind of cool with the Bestow ability. Bestow didn't really take off too much. A little bit. I mean, it's got a little bit. For Bestow, if you cast this card for its Bestow cost, it's an Aura spell with Enchant Creature. It becomes a creature again if it's not attached to a creature. So not bad. I like that there's like uh, there's like more than just one thing you could do with the card. That's kind of cool. It gives you options. I like options. If you know what I mean. I like having my options kept open. <laughs> All right. Oh. Do I miss her? Not really. Gotta be honest, not really. I don't really miss her that much. Sorry, it is what it is. Temple of Triumph, that's pretty cool. Is that worth a penny? Probably two cents. I know none of these are worth much because the scry one ability they reprinted and whatever. Oh, so we got a mythic. Oh, oh, I thought it was a misprint, but it's not. Oh, <sighs> okay. Almost lost my voice there. And Night Howler. We got a mythic foil and a rare foil in the same box. That is sexy. That is like a weasel looking thing. I would not want to play hide the weasel with that thing though. It's got the bestow, Night Howler, and Enchanted Creature. Each get plus X plus X, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Damn! So we got the mythic foil and we got the rare foil in the same pack. Not same pack, <laughs> same box. God, I am stupid. Someone smack me. Fuck, that hurt. Sometimes you just need to get a little bit bruised, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and do this. You know who's taking this home? Jin MTG. Jin MTG. De Jin. Jin. Jin MTG. Congrats, man. Let's see what you're going to get. Give me your address. Send it to mossbergswerve at gmail.com. That's M-O-S-B-E-R-G. S-W-E-R-V-E. At gmail.com. Wrecking Ogre. And, up! Oh, I thought we were going to have a little foil there. So we got Wrecking Ogre. I'll get you out. 
Nothing much going on there. And come on, baby, something sweet. I doubt you're gonna get the expedition because this came from expeditions um, that were from the same one that I had at expedition. This uh, was all purchased with the one that had the expedition pool in it. So I doubt you're gonna get it. But you got a foil. Oh, this is gonna be a card. Uh, I'll show you guys how to make a sweet deck using this card. I'm gonna do that kind of soon. Probably in the next uh, week or two. Drowner of Hope. Boosh! Beast Caller Savage. Foil Rare. Nasty. Always nasty when I do a giveaway. So I'm gonna send you out this. And damn, you got freaking hooked up, dude. You got. Bam! Three rares. One a being foil. And a swamp. That's actually a beast caller server, isn't that not a bad one? Add one man of any color to your metapoles from this middle and you catch the creature's ball. That's not too bad. It's got haste with it. That's really not a bad card. I think I remember talking about this one. Why isn't that worth more? Oh wait, no, it wasn't this one, because that's an elf. That's a pretty good card there, man. There you go. That's probably a few bucks at least. So congrats to you, Jin MTG, because you comment, like, and sub and are a subscriber to this channel, and you share my content. That's why you just won. I'm getting rid of all this shit. Not, I'm not going to throw it away, but it goes towards helping increase uh, what we buy on the channel. What we buy for the channel. I end up selling off all the uncommons and commons in a huge sale. And uh, hopefully I get like 50 bucks after everything. But trust me, that's after like six boxes. Anyway. Boosh! Timurat the Murder King. I think I have a foil of this dude. I think I do. Foil Forest, baby! Oh, I love my freaking. Oh, you guys already know. You 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 already know what it is. You already know. All right, all right, all right. I'm not even gonna get crazy on that one. I could have. I could have got crazy on that one, but I did not. I could have got crazy on that one, but I chose not to. Thanks for sticking around. We are almost halfway through to this box. I better speed it up. I know I've been reading every single card. That's because I missed this set. I haven't seen it in a while. A crow and horse, not even gonna bother with it. Bam, another foil. Farika's uh, mender. That's legit. Um, you go there. And you three go here. Look at these organization skills. You'd think I know what I'm doing. All right, try not to make this video too damn long, but somehow it always seems to happen that way. Probably because I read off what the cards do. Maybe that's got something to do with it, Mr. Moss. Uh, oosh, oosh, Thoughtsies! Fuck yeah! Give me that shit! Uh, that's what I wanted. Most expensive car in the whole set. Damn! Do <laughs> Going crazy, going crazy! Out of the act! Out of the act! Look at him, look at him, look at him! Oh my god! Got it right here. Boosh, Thoughtsies! If you don't know what it does, get to know it. Target player reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-lad card from it. That player discards that card. You lose two life. Thought sees, baby. All up in that ass. Damn! That is the one card you want to pull out of this. Joey Moss just pulled it, baby. Our luck is improving. All right. It's 20 bucks for that one card. So that paid for a third of this box, because I think I paid 65 to 71 Somewhere in there. I can't remember the exact price, but it was cheap. I threw a lowball offer at this guy and he accepted it, so. <laughs> awesome. Boom! Baby! We are killing it now! Oh, we are killing it! Look at that shit! Elspeth, you. <laughs> Fucking mind blown. Elspeth and Sun's Champion and Thoughtseize back to back. I, I would say it doesn't get much better than that, but for Theros, for Theros, it does not get much better than that. The only other thing we could do is pull God of the Forge. That is it. If, it. if he's in the next pack, you don't get better from Theros than that. That is just sick. What a box. We made our money back, ladies and germs. We made our money back. Awesome, awesome box. I got goosebumps. I'm so excited. All right, I got to speed this up. We're at 24 minutes, but, man, it's, it's worth to watch these. When they're good, they're good. Let me tell you, when they are good, they are good. Agent of the Fates, not a terrible card. There could be worse. Agent of the Fates, uh, it's got Death Touch and Heroic. Let's get that focus back. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Agent of the Fates, each opponent sacrifices a creature. So there you have it. Ugh, oh, killing it. Agent of the Fates, not on the top list. Damn, we still got a solid amount of packs to go. 
This is fun. So many packs in the booster boxes. Booster box 36 to be exact. A boon Satire. What was up with this? A little sparkly shit around it. Um, Enchanted Creature gets plus 4, plus 2 with Bestow. There you go. Nothing insane. But why? What was up with that? Why did they put all them little sparkly things? Is that something new they were going for? I don't know. Do you like it? Do you want to see it again? It's all sprinkled. I don't know. Do you like the sprinkles? I guess if I was a girl, I'd appreciate it a little bit more. But being that I'm a man, I'm not really sure I'm too in tune with it. But it is what it is. Now, woman, get me a beer. And a lap dance. Now. Night Holler. Pulled the uh, foil of that earlier, so we don't got to cover that. Nice, nice, nice. Let's keep it trucking. Don't be a groupie. Keep it moving, shouty. You know me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get something else pretty cool here. We can't really do too much better. Fabled Hero. Forest. Token. Fabled Hero. Double Strike. A three drop. Uh, double Strike when uh, Heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Fabled Hero, put a plus one, plus one counter on Fabled Hero. Pretty gnarly. Anyone got a human deck? Do you have a human deck? Do you have a human dick? Weird, I know. I got a human dick. But does anyone have a human deck? My one friend's got a human deck. It's actually pretty solid, too. If you guys have any human decks, let me know. I like to hear about all types of shit. Artisan Sorrow, which is I, Trident Tactics, 100 Handed Bulk. Uh, Vigilance, Monstrosity 3, as long as 100, uh, 100 Handed 1 is monstrous, it has reach and can block an additional 99 creatures each combat. Because we all know there's going to be that many guys coming to attack us. Just make him so he's indestructible. And then uh, just fuck with your opponent's elf deck. There you go. <laughs> That'd be fun. That would be fun. On we go. Get some more stuff. Got some more stuff. Boosh! Psychic Intrusion. Some more bulk for that ass. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from that player's graveyard or hand and exile it. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. And you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. So, not the best card in the world. We are down to about six packs to go. Thanks for sticking by. I really love it when you guys do. It makes me feel that I'm not just wasting my breath. Let me know if you're still around. Temple of Abandon. Temple of Abandon. With the old scry ability. Ultimately, uh, not the best, but what are you going to do? It is what it is. It's something, and something is what, children? Something is better than nothing. Absolutely. So that was cool. We got a. Uh, we did pretty good this box. I mean, I'd like to see one more hit, one more hit, and that'd be really cool. One more hit, and I'm 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 going home happy. Ember Swallower. I pulled a foil of that not long ago. I think I tweaked my back with all the excitement earlier. I'm gonna have to be out of commission for a while. Monstrosity three. When Ember Swallower becomes monstrous, each player sacrifices three lands. Damn. But again, by the time you use that, holy hell, you know. All right. But in the long, I mean, I guess in Commander, that mon monstrosity shit's pretty good. Definitely in Commander, that'd be a really good card. No oh, shit. Definitely good. Bam! There it is. Uh, got my last card I wanted. That was good. Nick, I always get this card. I told you anytime. Always getting this card. Nick this shrink, uh, shrines and nicks. Add one uh, colorless to your mana pool. For two, tap it. Choose a color. Add to your mana pool an amount of mana of that color equal to your devotion to that color. Pretty nasty little rare there. And uh, it's a, it's a just a rare. It's not even a a mythic or nothing. It's a pretty good card all along. I must say it's a pretty good card. All right, on we go. On we go. We're not done yet, boys and girls. We are not done yet. See, we gonna get. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Kaboosh! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! I, it's another. It's another planeswalker. That's all I gotta say. It's another planeswalker. Fuck yeah! And it's actually not a too bad a one. Oh, sorry. I, I would have got more excited, but a bug just bit my leg. I'm not even kidding. This. It just. It just happened. It is. It is. It is not good. It's not good. 
Exile the top three cards of target opponent's library. Put a creature card with converted mana cost X exiled with Ashiok, Nightmare Weaver under the battlefield under your control. That creature is a nightmare in addition to its other types. Exile all cards from all opponent's hands and or graveyards. We are killing it, this box. Guys, we are killing it, this box. Oh my goodness. 30 minutes in, but still, we are freaking killing it. Awesome Theros box. Awesome Theros box. I mean, you, you, I don't think you could do much better. I really don't think you could do much better. Artisan of the Forms, you're welcome whenever you cast a spell that targets Artisan of the Forms. You may have Artisan of the Forms. Uh, become a copy of target creature and gain this ability. So there's that. Doubt that's worth a damn penny. All right, we are down to one last pack. What's it gonna be? Is it gonna have God of the Forge in it? Probably not, but that would be really cool if it did. Let's see what we got. Is it focus on good? Sweet. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Damn, another, uh, another mythic though. What is this guy? I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, Hithonia the Cruel. Look at that artwork though. That is pretty nice. Let's see what we go and do with it. I'm trying to find the price on it, see if it's worth anything. Eh, it's probably about two bucks, 50 cents. Death Touch, crazy monstrosity. When uh, Hithonia the Cruel becomes monstrous, destroy all non-Gorgon creatures. Amazing in Commander. Seriously, simply amazing if you're running an all-Gorgon deck, of course. But that would be great in Commander. And a Spark Jolt. Spark Jolt deals one damage to target creature or player. Scry one. Eh, it's still a pretty cool uh, foil there, though. What do you guys think? How did we do? I think we did fantastic, Mr. Moss. We 